And, and what we'll start to do, and I'm going to do this in the next section too, is we can start to hit Control D, which is divide. So that's that's literally just doing like a poly smooth in my baking it in. But the good part about this is a lot like Mudbox with the Shift D and the D key in Mudbox, adding divisions and surfing page up and page down in Mudbox. This is a bit the same as that. So we've got a much denser mesh now, so we can put in more details and you can hit it again and be in a higher division level. So that's really smoothing out like that. Now, if you come into subdivision here, we are actually working in this area. So now what we've got is we've got three subdivision levels. So we can go right back to the base, which is this low res, and then we can go up one, two levels. So that's zero, one, and two, if, depending on which counting that you use. So we're getting up, you know, 160,000 active points. It's actually not that many for ZBrush. ZBrush, you, you don't really even consider that it's getting heavy until we're over a million. That's how, how easily it deals with high poly counts. But down here in the lowest division level, we're really only at 10,000. So this is the way that eventually you want to lock in your base mesh. We don't want to lock it in yet. We don't have the teeth. But eventually we will lock in this base mesh and then sort of rely on it and even UV it in preparation for getting back into Maya if we do want the poly paint to come to carry through. So there you go, guys. That's a uh, good introduction. Now, if you can delete the higher resolution, so that just is deleting the higher levels. They will be gone if you've done any details on that. Just want to show you this guy here, this too. This is actually this dynamic, it's got this like weird names, dynamic sub D. That is just Maya's three key or in Maya hotkeys, control alt three key. And in fact, just copy that for mine. So it's control alt and three. And that is the toggle for toggling the sub Ds on and off. That is not baking in the sub Ds. This one is. That is simply doing exactly what the three key does. You're still working on the base mesh only. You're not actually actively inserting more points, although it's drawing them. It's not actually doing it. So if you think of that, bottom section is like Maya style, which you really only want to do if you don't want to sculpt on it. So if, say you bring a whole bunch of objects and you only really want to sculpt on a couple of them, then do the right division level on the ones you want to sculpt on and then just do your dynamic sub Ds on the objects that you just need to look pretty, but you don't actually need to sculpt on them. That's going to save file size a lot because you're only saving out that many points. And whereas with this one, we're actually, you know, adding a whole ton more points where you can get up when you're in the millions of polygons, you can get up into the gigabytes of file size. So you do want to keep that down as much as possible. So just thought I'd show you those workflows. So that's Dynamesh and Zed Remesher. And the real power of ZBrush is the way that we can remesh and remesh and remesh. There's projection mesh. You can go into a lot of this. This is really cool stuff in ZBrush. This is what it's really about. And we're going to go backwards and we're going to continue doing some of these techniques and then putting the teeth and stuff. And it's it gets really fun and good from here. So there's just a, the fast workflow for roughing out characters in ZBrush. And when, when I get into the head section, we're going to go into this a lot more too.